It's easy to say, why don't we all... Matt and I, you know, love a good craft beer or two, and uh, we both uh, have a big affection for art and creativity and music and film, and we just thought that there was a new way of approaching beer, where uh, labels became uh, a vehicle to feature emerging artists. We really wanted to take the art of craft brewing, which is all about creativity, and sort of have that spill outside the bottle onto the labels and everything we do to put the creativity out there uh, and feature artists and musicians and filmmakers. There's a lot more to the label than just the label. There is actually kind of this unique intimate experience um, with the artist himself. We tried to break the traditional molds and for us it's, it's all about creativity and that's creativity in the brewing, that's creativity in the art and the music and the film that we work with and all the artists that we work with. We call it a grassroots beer company because it really is about building from the ground up and building that creativity out. So it starts really with the brewmaster and the brewery and for us Ryan is an exceptional brewmaster. For the artists who uh, have a particular hard time getting uh, any kind of bandwidth these days, getting noticed, we thought we could help artists reach the public in a new and uh, exciting way. The craft beer drinkers are already a curated group um, that are naturally predisposed and really interested in creativity. And so what we wanted to do was find a way that we can break it out of that mold and put, um, really truly put the art into somebody's hands that would be interested and engaged with it. We use the inspirations of the art community um, to connect with the consumer and as the consumer starts to appreciate the beer and the art, then the artist will feel even more um, compelled to get involved with collective arts. So we think it's an amazing way of interacting with the consumer that goes much beyond the actual label itself.